Hey, welcome to my midlife moto. I'm in a stairway. Where are you at? Now be sexy. Welcome to my midlife moto. We're here in New Orleans. And I'm not riding in New Orleans, but this is too good of a uh, backdrop for an intro to pass up. The mini bikes of Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras! It has been a minute. Never leave again. We've had rain and more rain. And we've had snow. And we've had ice. And we had finally a nice day. And I had to go to the dentist. Ouch. For those of you unfamiliar with the channel, I am a nearly, nearly, not quite, 50 year old man. He's an old man. Who has only been riding for about a year and a half, not quite a year and a half. Started watching moto vlogs in the Pando. Decided, hey, that looks fun. I can handle that. And now here we are. And lately, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about accidents, deaths, destruction. Motorcycles are dangerous death machines, they say. What the hell's going on here? It's a weird place to be standing in the middle of the road. We have a brisk but beautiful day, 47 degrees, the leather jacket is doing its job blocking the wind. I have a longer, more involved video about the danger of motorcycles that I was planning, but there's been an awful lot of that lately. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe we don't need another video on how dangerous or not dangerous motorcycles are. Maybe one more. Leave it in the comments below if you'd like to see my take on a video essay about the safety or lack thereof where motorcycles are concerned. Being that I'm a relatively new rider, any advice I give, I would recommend that you take with a grain of salt. This is not what I signed up for. Ah, we're all right. Oh, well, this baby wants to run. You know, if you don't ride for a couple of weeks, let me rephrase that. If I don't ride for a couple of weeks, a lot of y'all, hey, I haven't ridden for a couple weeks. Check out this day, I'm gonna hop on this bike and cruise. But your boy, my midlife moto, gets a little cerebral with it. I start to think, oh, do I still know how to ride? Is it dangerous? Am I gonna be okay? Stop it, get some help. I don't know, are, are any of us gonna be okay? Try to be as careful as possible, do all the things, check all the things, do all the precautions. The bike is tip top, as many of you have said, and as I knew but failed to uh, practice, you gotta check your tire pressure every time. Prior to this ride, came out, checked the tire pressure, got a new digital tire pressure gauge, it looks like this. I like the nice big readout, it's easy to read. It lights up so you don't have to focus your old eyes. It's got a uh, angled hoo right there and it spins because it's kind of a pain in the ass getting to the valve stem whenever you can find it. I got a pretty sick little jump start slash tire inflation device. Uh, it doesn't take up too much space. I mean, it takes a little bit of space in the case. Seems pretty pretty cool so far. So if the tire is a little off, the tire pressure is a little off, you can set it to what tire pressure you want. 
40 in the rear, 36 in the front, whatever it's supposed to be. And it'll air it up in a few minutes. It takes a couple minutes. Usually not too bad. Um, I saw this on another Moto Vlogger head. Did a video on this device. His name is, I think it's Ducati NYC. And uh, he rides a Ducati around NYC. So aptly named. But his videos are pretty good. He's doing pretty good. Check check out Ducati NYC. Bunch of new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I have some big big plans for the upcoming months, weather permitting or weather not permitting. We're just going for it. It's hard to keep a, a vlog schedule, you know. I'll tell you what, when I start making money off of YouTube, if you would like to see more of these videos. <laughs> Get you and 750 of your friends to subscribe to this channel. And I'll go pro at YouTubing and it will be my full-time commitment. Uh, but until then, I just get them out as often as I can because I have a job. Yeah, sorta. <laughs> sorry, sorry Delgado. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> it's kind of a job. Um, I have uh, you know, kids, commitments, all these things. Wow, this is busy today. This road's usually pretty chill. This traffic is ridiculous. See, this is bad. This is where you don't want to be. I should have been more off to the side and uh, have a better escape route. Yeah, go ahead. It was definitely not my turn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What just happened? We became almost nocturnal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What just happened? <laughs> oh, my God. It's on wide view, so you probably can't see that, but... Wow. That was almost a really bad accident. Ah, oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Nice pastoral scenery. This place is magnificent. Yes, I'm, I've got my eyes forward. I'm just turning the camera so that you can get a good view. Nice view of the pastoral landscape. A lot of road work today. It's funny. Um, how do I get that job? You know that job pays decent. You're just standing there. I could handle that. I'm still wearing regular jeans. I'm gonna get some riding jeans. I just let me let me just talk to you about gear for a second. I hate <laughs> I hate motorcycle gear. The boots all look like you're into, uh, like you're in the freaking Matrix or something, you know. If you want just like kind of a more casual biker boot, like so many zippers and buckles and uh, harnesses and crap. And then if you get like a touring boot, man, I I, I bought some uh, Merlin D30 touring boots, and I have no doubt they would keep you very safe, waterproof. Um, they're very quality, but it's a European boot, and uh, it it was so narrow. That's for a dainty Italian foot, not for a fat old bony old man American foot. Corn-fed Oklahoma foot. Got a wide foot. May not be that long, but at least it's wide. <laughs> so uh, I sent those back to Revzilla. I bought some pants off Revzilla. Guys, I cannot figure out how to size motorcycle pants. And then what they have in the store at Cycle Gear, this is like a very small selection. If you could just order stuff, if you're like a thin guy, you know, who's easy to fit. You know, I got a bit of a beer belly. I'm working on it. I lost a few pounds. I'm working on it. Or they're like tight stretchy pants like I'm wearing my wife's Lulu. Hey, <laughs> your boy is not a Lululemon stretchy pant. Tight stretchy pant, man. I do like some stretch in my jeans. Uh, I don't want to go all the way down here. Fudge a dudge. I had a suggestion that I shouldn't swear so much and I agree with that. I'm a relatively intelligent guy with average intelligence and uh, you know, I should be able oh, let's just go in here and turn around. Gravel? Nice. Go back the way we came. How do you guys feel about that? Oh, look at that U-turn. <laughs> In the wild, no less. 
Hey, it's nice we're actually doing some motoring in this moto vlog. A slow church zone. I prefer a fast church myself. Yeah, so uh, I'm gearing up. If I'm gonna go on a long trip, I just need to have all the gear anyway. So the next thing is, I got the boots coming. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys those when they get here. It's nothing fancy, but they're gonna be more protective than my blunnies, my blundstones. I, I, I still need to get some rain gear. And that's that's really important to me. Uh, I really want some really high-vis rain gear when it's gray and cloudy. I want to be high-vis. I think my, my mirrors are moving around with the wind. I think that's that firefighter syndrome. I'm in firefighter who's not making moto vlogs for a while, I guess. But he'll be back. Oh, right now, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do this. I want to do something else. You'll come crawling back, firefighter. Don't act like you, like you won't. Hey, buddy, and if you're making a second channel, go ahead and subscribe to my Midlife Moto for me there, bud. We're gaming the system, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's fun uh, getting back on the bike after not, not riding for, uh, for a minute. I, uh kind of overthinking the safety aspects and really looking everywhere, looking over time, thinking over time about all the things I can do to improve my safety. And people here stop in the roundabout. I, I mean, I guess you have to sometimes, but it seems excessive here. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in to another rip-roaring excitement of a good time. Another fun-filled, so fun. exuberant episode where I put my youthful exuberance or not-so-youthful exuberance on display for the world to see. You gonna let me go? Sick. Thanks, buddy. Glad he wasn't talking to me with that hand. That's it for today's episode of My Midlife Moto. I appreciate you guys. Uh, hopefully this has been a fun, a fun episode. Uh, and happy Mardi Gras. Today's Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. You won't see this until after it. But happy Mardi Gras anyway. All right. Uh, thanks again. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, bye bye. Goodbye, my friend. Give me the bum bum bum, yes, yes.